This is another video on the basic laws of arithmetic. Please watch the previous video in the playlist first, i.e. the one on the commutative law. This video is going to look at the associative law. Consider the following example here. We have 3 plus 4 added to 5. We bring down the 3 and the 4 plus 5 is 9. And when we add 3 and 9 we get 12. Here I'm going to add the 3 and the 4 first and then add the 5. So 3 plus 4 is 7. We bring the plus down and we add 5 and we get 12. So we can see whatever way we do it, the result is the same. So 3 plus the addition of 4 plus 5 equals the addition of 3 plus 4 plus the 5. Now we're going to do another example. I'm going to have 3 times the multiplication of 4 times 5. The 3 comes down and the 4 times 5 is 20 and 3 times 20 is 60. Here I'm going to multiply the 3 and the 4 which is 12, and then I'm going to times that by the 5, which still gives me 60. So we can see we get the same result. So 3 multiplied by the multiplication of 4 and 5 is the multiplication of 3 and 4 multiplied by 5. We can see they are the same. We can see that the way 3 or more integers are associated under addition or multiplication does not affect the result. So we can see this example here is under addition and we can see that both of them give the same result. If we look at this example here it is under multiplication and this one is and we can see we get the same result. So we can see here that the addition of 3 to the addition of 4 and 5 is the same as the addition of 3 and 4 added to the 5. Now here we can see 3 multiplied by the product of 4 and 5 is the same as the product of 3 and 4 multiplied by 5. So here we can see that we have the associative law under addition. And here we have the associative law under multiplication. Addition and multiplication are associative operations. Let's consider this example, 3 minus and in brackets 4 minus 5. So that's 3 minus, 4 minus 5 is minus 1. Now we should know that a minus minus gives a plus, so that will be plus. We now bring down the 3 and we bring down the 1. And of course when I add 3 and 1 up I get 4. Now what I'm doing, I'm using the same numbers but bracketing them slightly differently. So that's minus 1. This becomes minus 5, so I get minus 6. Now it's quite clear that these are both different. Therefore, 3 minus brackets 4 minus 5 is not equal to 3 minus 4 in brackets minus 5. Let's do one using division. 32 divided by, in brackets, 4 divided by 2. So we have 32 divided by, and the brackets is 2. So then we end up with 32 divided by 2 is 60. If we now write this out as 32 divided by 4, all divided by 2, we can see that gives us 8. So then we have that divided by 2, which gives us 4. And we can see that this is different from the 16. So 1's 16, 1's 4. Therefore, we can write out the following. The 32 divided by 4 divided by 2 is not equal to 32 divided by 4 divided by 2. We can see that the way 3 or more integers are associated under subtraction and division does affect the result. Subtraction and division are not associative operations. Remember, addition and multiplication are associative operations.